Hello my beauties, today we are doing this ultra natural look using the Pacifica products that I featured in my vegan beauty haul. I will link that video down below for you, but I hope that you enjoy this video. And to get started, I just brushed my hair back out of my face. I am trying to grow out my hair, so I'm using my wooden brush. And I just wanted to um, not wash it today, so it does look a little oily, but hopefully that won't bother you too much. And yeah, so now that it's out of my face, we will get started with the video. All right, so first thing that I'm gonna do is take my Pacifica Cactus Water Makeup Removing Wipes, and I'm just going to clean up my eyes a little bit because I just woke up uh, not too long ago. I actually don't wash my face in the morning. I will usually just tone um, with a cotton pad to kind of clean up any um, dust or anything that settled on my face during the night but when you're sleeping at night your skin is repairing and so I don't like to wash my face in the morning I think it just ends up taking out so much moisture and hydration from my skin so I really only like scrub and exfoliate and all that at night um, so to prime my face, I'm going to go in with the Botanics Rose Water Toning Spritz. This is 100% organic, and I got this at Target. Since this is essentially like a bare face, sort of no makeup makeup look, I'm just going to be using that um, just to kind of like tighten my skin, tighten my pores, and just give my skin some hydration before we go in with the makeup. Okay, so once that is fully absorbed and set into the skin, and the skin has a chance to drink up and tighten and get really smooth and get a clean slate, I'm gonna go in with the Lorac Sheer Perfection Foundation. This is not a completely all natural product from what I understand. However, Lorac does have really good, safe products. Um, this is oil-free, paraben-free, and fragrance-free, so they are a more conscious brand, which is why I'm using this in this video. I don't really have much else that is um, just totally all-natural as far as foundations go. I haven't been gutsy enough to buy any. I just kind of am like, ooh, is it really going to be good? So this is as close to it as I can get. Let's get going with the sheer perfection foundation um this one is in the shade porcelain and it's a tad too light for me but i don't have any all natural alternatives to darken it up so we're just going to put on a light layer of this um, this is a beautiful foundation and it's super wearable for the day to day i'm going to pick it up on a beauty blender and just start stamping it around my face And I just want to even out my skin tone a bit. I don't really want a full coverage look today. We're just going to get rid of some of the redness and just smooth everything out and cover up some spots. So I still haven't gotten everything that I wanted to for my new background. Um, the way it is now isn't really what I want, but it's what I had. So I'm just leaving that there for now. I also bought a backdrop if you saw my um, Transcend unboxing video or my easy natural daytime makeup tutorial that I did recently. I do have a backdrop, but I haven't gotten any other fabric or anything to hang from it, and so I'm just kind of doing like a cutesy background for now. But I do feel like this plant competes with the palm trees, so I gotta figure this out, but another day, another dollar. Okay, I think that's sufficiently blended, and also this is a Real Techniques uh, sponge, and I really love this one. It is really versatile so the bottom I can like really stamp in that foundation um, and then the top has a flat side and it's got like a dome as well and I really like this to kind of squeeze in product under the eyes this is a really good sponge I love it I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer which took me forever to get my hands on this because everywhere was sold out because it's awesome 
Um, it is a little bit light for me. Again, I got the shade light, which isn't even the lightest shade. And I'm pretty fair, but I feel like it does kind of make me bright, you know? But we are gonna go in very lightly with this today. I just want to cover up some of the dark circles and a couple of spots. And I really hope this video isn't picking up the dog whining outside. We are watching my brother's dog. It's really fun to listen to. This sponge is a mini beauty blender, or not beauty blender, but a mini um, sponge from Ulta, and it is the Ulta brand. You can get a trio of these. Looks like this at Ulta for, I think, six bucks. It's a little bit better value than the Real Techniques ones at Ulta, and so I got the trio. I just really like them for more focused areas, like spot treatment and under the eyes. Like this fits perfectly right here. So for this look where I'm not doing a really dramatic highlight and conceal, it's like super focused. I really like that about it. Sorry, I keep looking down. I have a mirror here. I'm just trying to see myself working. So the next product that I'm going to grab for is the Pacifica, um, what is this called? Natural Minerals Cult Coconut Multiplies. I've, I'm surprised this doesn't have the name of the product on it, but it's like a highlighting trio and these are not powders. They are like, what you call it? Creams. Um, but it's kind of cool because it feels dry when you first touch it. Then as your finger warms up the product, it will come off in cream form. So we're going to just like use our finger and just kind of apply this product to areas of the face where we want to warm up a bit. This is going to give us a really natural flush. I love it. I talk about these products in a natural beauty haul that I did um, very recently and these have great ingredients. So if you haven't tried Pacifica before, I would recommend it. It's kind of like a drugstore version of all natural products and I mean that in the best way possible just because they are more affordable and they do sell them at Earth Fair. I'm actually going to take this lightest shade right here and I'm going to pop that on my lids just to prime my eyes and hopefully it won't be too pasty to create a crease but I think that it kind of these kind of dry almost like a powder um, and they feel sort of powdery when they hit the skin and are blended out so I'm just going to roll with it and then we're going to dip into the middle pink shade this is such a pretty pink it's it's like almost like a cool tone frosty pink and I am going to just pop that on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm going to go back into the lightest shade and I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose, highlight my cupid's bow. up with this blush too okay so I'm going to set this one aside now and I'm gonna go into the mineral uh, natural mineral eyeshadows palette um, this one is stunning I used it last night for a nighttime look I popped this in the outer corner this was underneath this one in the outer corner this was in the crease and this was on the lid and it was perfection I loved it so we're gonna use it today but going a little bit lighter I'm going to first take my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush because I love that for um, eyeshadow in the crease. And I'm going to go in with, I'm going to actually mix these two because I just want a really natural vibe. And that gold shade is more of a shimmer shade, but it really looks good like this. I don't know why. I mean, usually a matte shade in the crease is better, but... I really don't mind this one. I think it gives just a beautiful, subtle shimmer. 
And then we're going to go all over the lid with this color right here. The next brush that I'm going to grab is my Real Techniques uh, detail, detailer brush. And this, I'm just going to dip into the uh, blue and the gray here. I'm going to mix the two. And I'm going to just define my lash line a little bit. One thing I noticed about these shadows right away is that they are so easy to blend. They are fairly powdery, but I'm not experiencing very much fallout at all. So somehow they just work. So done with that part of the process. Now I'm going to go in with my Pacifica Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mascara. This mascara is awesome. It's a beautiful dark chocolate brown and it has some amazing ingredients. So I'm going to try and use this as much as possible and see, that dog is barking like crazy outside, and see if my lashes grow at all. I really like the brush on this. It's very, it's bigger than I would normally want, but for some reason it just applies the product really nicely. It's a really soft um, formula that doesn't clump up. It doesn't flake off. I just really like it. All right, and then for the eyebrows, I'm not gonna apply any product. I'm just going to take a spoolie I'm just going to take a spoolie and just brush them out so that they don't look a hot mess. Last but not least, I am going to go in with a lip gloss. And which one do I want? I think I'm gonna go in with the Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in the shade It Girl. This is a really pretty, uh, like, mid, I don't know, middle of the road pink. It's got gold flecks, and I think it just goes really well with this. So we are gonna be using that today, and I'm not gonna put a whole lot on because it is fairly pigmented. It's not a very sheer gloss, but I love these Lorac glosses. They, I've been using them nonstop. And you can get this one and four others or five others in a set right now at Ulta. It's a Christmas set and I did a video about it, which I will link down below for you. Gift boxes under $50. This would be a great gift box for um, somebody who has a lot of girlfriends who just wants to, you know, split up the lip glosses. It's really affordable way to do a Christmas gift or a holiday gift. or just if you wanted to stock up on some stuff for the coming year and give them out during birthdays or whatever, this was a super good value. I love these glosses. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you try out some of these products and if you liked this video in any way or you found it helpful or enjoyable or you just like hanging out, then please hit that like button and subscribe down below. That really helps me out a lot and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys.